Hey friends, have you ever wanted to look inside an engine or a case or you name it? I don't care you want to look inside something you want to access and it's hard to uh, to really see what you're working with. You know, not all engines are as easy to uh, look into as the cutaways like we've uh, made here at How to Wrench. So in the real world, we need a way to uh, peek down into things to sometimes just decide if it's worth moving on. We have been wanting to review a uh, one of these... Uh, bore scopes for quite some time. I've got a, a, a pretty old uh, snap on one that's really served me well over the years, but it's it's gotten to be a little bit bulky and there's just such uh, better technology out there like the case here from this uh, K, uh, KZE. And the other thing about this is that uh, not only is it wireless, but it's HD, the app, you can record, take photos, you know, show all this to your, for your customer. It might just be that you're trying to buy a motorcycle and the customer says, oh yeah, it just needs a tune-up. You want to peek down a spark plug hole and kind of see what you're dealing with and see if it's worth buying. This thing's going to pay for itself 500 times over. Way cool. Uh, the other thing we're going to do in this video is we came up with a way to basically do this wirelessly, Bluetooth and uh, project it to a big screen TV. So we're gonna show you how we did that. Uh, the app itself, like I said, all kinds of cool features for viewing and so on. Comes with adapters to uh, change to right angle and mirror it and all that too. So pretty similar, you can adjust the LED light on it. But why don't we do this? Why don't you hit that uh, join button, subscribe button, uh, show a little support for the channel and uh, we'll kind of reset and let's show you how to use this thing and what the quality of this is. Super stoked. Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. All right. Here's some of the things that we have that it comes with. We have, obviously, the unit itself. I haven't even unwound this thing because the wireless capability, but it does. Uh, you know, I look at this now and really understand how wireless it really works. And man, I could think I could get the really short version of this, maybe even save a few more bucks, but it comes with some adapters like I talked about for a mirror, 90 degree and so on. Pretty typical to uh, end scopes. Uh, this light here, the LED light is adjustable. Let's just go ahead and turn on. So we got a on button here. Here's the adjustment for the light. Okay, see the intensity there and it changing has a charge port back here. You just plug it into uh, any USB uh, uh, charging port to fire it up. So that's the unit itself. And it has its own Wi-Fi on here. Let me show you that. I'm gonna leave that on so that we can uh, take advantage of showing you some of this stuff. But what you're gonna wanna do inside the manual here is they're gonna send you to the app store. This was super painless, by the way. Uh, and you're gonna find that little logo right there. It tells you what to download. Get to zoom or get to uh, focus there. Anyway, once you download that app, let me show you on my phone that I have this installed, is you're gonna end up with this one here. And what you wanna do before you open that is go to your Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna go ahead here and see what's available. And you're going to see this, what's that, Jetin uh, underscore 3096 CAE. That's what is a mine. Not sure if that's what's going to be on every single one. But you're going to, you're going to go onto that Wi-Fi. Now I'll go ahead and just uh, close out of that. And I'm going to open the app. And the camera's actually on right now. Looks crappy now because... I'm focused on a uh, on a cart. So there's there's kind of a lot of things I wanted to show you on the app here. You know, obviously most of the time I use a bore scope, I'll just I'll just rotate it myself to get to the right uh, position. But check out another thing you can do here. Just hit this button down here, and it's going to go ahead and flip it for you. So if you had this like you know maybe zip tied into a position and you wanted to kind of work a little more hands free and you wanted to be able to do things like with the app like to uh, uh, focus on it you know you can uh, use your screen just as as normal um, pretty stinking cool so the other thing i could do here when the app is going is i can go ahead and start uh, recording um, or i can go ahead and take photos so i just took a photo of my ceiling super useless uh, and i can go ahead and take video so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make a video going into this engine here so you can see the piston, see what that looks like, and 
I'm gonna go ahead and start my record and you can see it going up there. And let's just see, I'll just set this right here. So this might be a real use case. And I'm gonna go down into my spark plug hole. And look at this video. I'll zoom it up. Look at I can see the cross hatch. I don't even have the 90 on there. And you could see how crystal clear that carbon is. And, and what you could do is there's a settings feature on here. You could go in here and you could choose. Let me pull that up. This is also an important screen too. Let me just uh, start over a little arrow up here. The settings right here. When I go here, this is how you're going to choose the quality you want to look at and record at or anything else. So those are your options. That's on the set resolution. If I do that, it's going to tell me that it was successful. If something's not working or you're having a hard time getting it to work, you can re reboot the Wi-Fi. That'll help as well. I haven't used any of these other ones, so I'm good there. But well, look at that piston. Look at the carbon on that. Let me play around a little bit more. ahead here and I'll play with the lighting. Let me get still. There's no light. Little light. Little more. We can definitely see how this engine uh, is running a little rich or it's got some miles on it. One or the other. Super cool. Let's uh, just kind of take a look at some other things. How about that spark plug? Want to inspect the uh, tip of the spark plug? Man, that is super, super cool quality. Look at that bolt. Well, I think I think you get the idea. But what I'm going to do next is just show you. We've been playing around, and I really like making my videos and whatnot with. Uh, yeah, there's a good shot right there using uh, my big screen TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. I'm gonna get my Apple TV going. You may uh, be able to do this with Chrome or anything else. There's that Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna hit that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my iPhone here. Let's see if this is gonna work here. And I'm going to mirror screen, Apple TV. Okay. Go out of here, go back to here, and what do you think of that? Now, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make another video. You can see I'm recording, and I'm just gonna go along here and now I'll be able to watch it on my, you know, on my big screen TV. It's not quite as clear as it is looking at your smartphone, but man, it sure is nice if I want to go into something and take a look. Look at my hand. If I want to go in and take a look at something, maybe you want to look at carburetor jets or you want to look at something where you want to use basically this tool as a magnifying glass. How freaking awesome is that to be able to do so and then do your analysis out here. Why don't I get a carburetor jet and see what it would look like? Because I am super curious myself. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this down here. Let's say I wanted to see Oh, did I get these one of these stinking aftermarket ones with no uh, numbers on it? <laughs> I did. What are the chances of that? Let's bump that. There we go. Now look at my fingernails. Unbelievable. Here's a maybe I want to look at a float needle. Maybe I want to look at the seat and see the condition of, oh, look at the, look at the dirt and wear in there. Well, that's pretty, uh, pretty dang stinking cool there. We're going to do something like this. Take my view, 
I get right down on there. So I want to look at that needle and check out my wear. And then at any point in time that I want to, just go here. I'm going to flip that back around. At any time that I want to, remember I could take photos too. I'm going to go ahead and stop my video. Super, super cool. I think that this is fantastic. We have a pile of engines we bought, uh, like I said, off an off a auction block that we wanted to make some cutaways and make some new material. We got a bunch of stuff for Continental tires where we're going to do like some uh, real close up tire mounting and and uh, how the, the bead actually seats and some really neat stuff. So this is perfect timing for this tool. But if you're a shop out there or do it yourself or it doesn't matter, and you're trying to figure out like, maybe is this worth fixing? Should I continue on with a project? Is it worth the money? Instead of all the labor of tearing some apart, uh, bore scopes are pretty cool for that. They can really get you in looking at something. If you're a shop, it's a very useful tool too. Some people argue on, oh, well, you're gonna lose the labor. Well, you still charge a diagnostic fee and you keep moving on, you make your customer happy because you didn't you know, charge them $500 for something that wasn't worth fixing. So I've, I've been using bore scopes for a long time. I just haven't seen it at this quality. Uh, especially the the video and photo capture uh, catching it in that you know HD quality I think it's pretty freaking awesome so hey we're super stoked we're gonna have all the links below to purchase these how you can get for yourself so make sure and check out those links and uh, uh, another product review from howtowrench.com and toolswrench.com uh, we're gonna get back at it we're gonna keep putting this tool to work so as always my friends make sure and join the channel's way to support like share subscribe all that good stuff make it a great day and as always keep wrenching Thank you.